Welcome to one of our satellite meetings. Today, we're going to give a rundown on our standard satellite buses by using this example right here. So this is an MP42 satellite with the avionics bay right here and the payload bay right here. So this satellite is waiting for its final payload integration and test campaign. Once that is done, it's going to be a 120 kilogram satellite, which will be launched at the end of this year. There are three main ways how we can get to this stage. Option number one, we can use a standard satellite bus. So all you need to do here is go to our website and use the satellite configurator. You add your parameters there and it will output you a satellite configuration that will meet your mission needs in the most efficient way. Option number two is, let's imagine you download all the files and you see that the payload is a bit bigger than what we can give you in the standard satellite bus. It's not a problem. We can adapt all the necessary changes and non-recurring engineering to the platform itself, or we can consult you on what changes can be done to the payload because sometimes it's much easier to adapt the changes to the payload rather than to the platform. And option number three is a fully custom satellite bus. So we do understand, as mentioned previously by Justas, that there is a need in the market for a tailored satellite bus. And we're not running away from that. If there's a need, we will tailor the bus specifically for need. But what is most important to understand that standard satellite buses allow you to avoid the lengthy process of design such as mission analysis, structural analysis, thermal analysis, and in particular for MP42s, you do not need to have a structural module or qualification module, which all in all, at the end of the day, allows you to save a lot of time, a lot of money, a lot of stress, and makes your life much easier. So that's it for me. I need to clean this area for our engineers to finalize the AT campaign for this satellite right here.